Love to all and welcome to Discord, everybody. This is going to be a quick little tutorial on how to navigate the user interface uh, and connect to voice channels along with some of the other settings inside of Discord uh, for some people who may not be knowledgeable uh, on the use of this application. So this right here is uh, Discord on the PC. It looks the same on the Mac uh, with the exception of the, these little buttons up here. They're on the other side, I think. Uh, and it should look pretty similar on iOS um, or any other Google Play, Android Store, anything like that. Uh, in the upper left-hand corner here, you have your direct messages tab. This is gonna be where you access your friends list uh, and a lot of other things. Uh, so if you click here, you can see your friends, you can see all your direct messages here. If you click on any of them, it'll display them right here. Uh, here's all your friends list. You can see who's online, pending requests, uh, and there's your block list right there. If you wanna add somebody manually, you just click on add friend and it'll give you that right there. Uh, if you come down over here as well, uh, you're gonna see the uh, various bubbles of the servers that you belong to. Uh, so this is gonna be my personal server. It's probably the one that you, uh, you, you see this video on or why you're watching this video. Uh, when you click on a server, you'll get this little tab. Uh, the little bubble means that there's uh, there's texts in there that you can read that you haven't read yet. And the badge notification also in the general uh, tabs down here in the text channels will let you know when you yourself are mentioned. So we'll take a look at that in a minute here. But when you select any of these channels, everything in the center here changes. This doesn't change over here, but everything in the center changes. Uh, you're going to see your channel name up here, a little description. Every channel should have a server rule. So as you join them, go ahead and click on that text channel and read them and make sure that you understand the code of conduct on that server. Moving down from there, you have all the various channels. Sometimes you're able to not, uh, sometimes you're able to uh, uh, not post to them. Sometimes you're not even able to see some of the channels. Uh, they all have different reasons uh, for existing and you can read the description there and you can pretty much see what the channel is about. Uh, all the other ones do pretty much the same thing. Uh, now coming down here to the general chat, every single discord server has a general chat if memory serves uh you will you'll be welcomed in here this is where you know you can say hi unless there's a specific channel for introductions over here this is where you can say hi and say announce that you're new to the server meet some new people stuff like that um and uh, you can see that the badge went away after i clicked on it just like any any other app on your phone uh and you can see that the uh, uh the message is highlighted that was intended to go for me and this is the public general form so everybody can see what's going on in here now down here, you're gonna have the voice channels. These are gonna be where you go to talk with other people on voice. If I click on the moderator office, because if I go into the hangout, other people may join. But if I go into the moderator office, you can see I get this green little outline around my voice uh, or around my icon. And that means that I'm talking. So if I stop talking, you're going to see that the green icon goes away, the little green highlight. Um, and that's going to happen the same way with anybody else that starts talking. So that way you can see who is talking. If you want to mute yourself, you can mute yourself like that. If you want to deafen yourself, you can do that way. And if you want to disconnect, all you have to do is disconnect like that. You can uh, join most channels. If you can't join it, when you hover over it, there'll be a little circle with a slash through it. So you'll know which ones are allowed to join uh, and which ones are not. Uh, let's uh, let's jump into the settings over here. If you go into voice, uh, this is going to be where you activate voice activity or push to talk. Most servers have push to talk enabled so that that way there's not a lot of background noise going on. Uh, sometimes they'll have a VIP list if they want to put you on voice activity for the time being. Uh, so just so you guys know, this is where you go. When you select push to talk, you can select whatever key you want. Mine right now is space. That's what I use when I need to use push to talk, um, but I'm using voice activity. Now, uh, moving on from there, there are sometimes text channels that uh, you cannot see. This pink slip channel uh, is my moderation channel where all my mods let me know, you know, what's going on in terms of uh, disciplinary actions, bans, timeouts, stuff like that. Uh, so there are certain channels that sometimes you won't be able to see uh, and in that regards it, uh, it it relates back to the roles so over here in the member list in the final little section uh, if you will of discord you can see who are specific moderators who's the server owner who, stuff like that so you can see my name is red right here uh, the moderators are in blue all the other moderators are down here offline in blue as well um, so that gives you guys an idea of the layout of discord and how to navigate confidently and know that you're talking to the people uh, that that you intend to talk to if they have any authority. Up here, uh, you can uh, mute a channel. If you mute the channel, then that basically keeps 
notifications from coming to you. I'll show you guys one more setting in terms of notifications. You can look at the members list, uh, toggle it if, uh, if, if you prefer, if you want to see a little bit more of the screen. Uh, sometimes it helps when you have Discord super tiny. Uh, in a tiny window. You can search for messages, stuff like that up here, all the basic sorts of things. Uh, and now the last thing that I will show you is if you right click on a server, um you guys won't have as many settings as this because I'm the owner uh, of this particular server, but you'll have notification settings. Uh, you'll have privacy settings, I believe, and I think you'll have server mute. I think those are the three things that you'll have. Uh, in the notification settings, you can control what you would like uh, for for the um, uh, for, for the entire server. So I just got done recording a My Summer Car video, so I have the server muted currently. Taking it off of the mute and putting it back on all messages. I basically have this server completely and totally on, so I can see everything that comes through. Um, the way that I recommend it for you guys is to put it as out, only at mentions, okay? Um, actually, and, and I might want to go back and... Uh, oh, wait, no, this is the way. Yeah, okay. Um, only at mentions, and then turn on uh, announcements uh, all straw polls, all and live stream all so that that way uh, you get the notifications that go through on those channels, which are only important things relating to my specific channel video sharing. Anybody can post to that. Anybody can put in game screenshots, stuff like that. So I like to leave them on the app mentions. And this kind of works for any server that you would want to join. If you want to make it so that you only get you know, the specific announcements, the live stream announcements, the straw polls, stuff like that. You can mute and do these sorts of things and follow a general guideline on what you should make at mentions and what you should make in terms of all. So I think that's going to do it, you guys. That gives you a pretty good understanding. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long. Uh, it got more into detail towards the end in terms of notifications and stuff like that. But hopefully it answered some of your questions that you were looking for. Uh, I'm not an expert on the server or, or the, uh, you know, the application by any means but if you have any questions post a comment down below uh, if I haven't answered it so thanks for watching guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys again